The capsule endoscope is easily ingested by all patients who do not suffer from dysphagia. In case of dysphagia, indication for capsule endoscopy must be appraised critically. The esophagogastric junction is shortly visualized during the examination in most patients. Pathology that is well demarcated should be described and may need clarification by additional investigations such as esophagogastroduodenoscopy. The gastric mucosa is incompletely visualized and capsule endoscopy does not substitute for examining the upper GI tract by flexible esophagogastroduodenoscopy. Passing the pylorus, the capsule takes a quick course through the duodenal bulb and the descending duodenum. The papilla vatari is sometimes concealed by luminal contents such as bile and may be missed in a quick duodenal passage of the capsule. A colon capsule endoscope may offer the advantage of two camera heads and the papilla of vatari is routinely detected by one of the two cameras. It may be seen at 8 o'clock in this colon capsule video with opening and closing the biliary orifice at the papilla. The normal small bowel mucosa has an intact villus architecture that is well demarcated at capsule endoscopy. With progression of the capsule to the mid and lower third of the small bowel, the villi become shorter and mucosal or submucosal blood vessels may physiologically be seen. A clear-cut transition zone from the jejunum to the ileum is not demarcated by endoscopic means though. For practical reasons, the small bowel is divided into an upper, middle and lower third and the passage time of the capsule is used for definition. Hyperplasia of lymphoid follicles is present in many patients in the terminal ileum without any pathological significance. Change of mucosal appearance and lack of villi denote the passage into the cecum through the valve of Bowen. An appendiceal orifice and the valve of Bowen are more reliably visualized with the use of a bidirectional colon capsule endoscope. Thereby, the valve of Bowen that is apparent at about 8 o'clock in this video should not be mistaken for a polyp.